All right, after a good bounce back win against the Panthers where we absolutely dominated, now we got the Bears. Caleb Williams and apparently Jaden Daniels is playing today, which is good. I feel like we we're almost toying with the Bears, not telling them if Jaden was going to play or not, just to keep them on their toes. But I'm super excited for this game. They flex it to 430, and we're wearing the black jerseys. I don't have any good memories with the black jerseys, other than the Taylor Heineke throwing a triple coverage against Curtis Samuel. That's the only good memory I have with the black jerseys. And for the love of everything, let's shut up the Bears fans. They are insufferable. And we stopped the Bears in that first drive. Defense actually looks pretty good. And also, I want this win because Montez Sweat's saying, I'm glad that I'm somewhere where I'm wanted. None of the people are here anymore. None of those people are here. Shut up. B-Rob having some good runs to start off today. And you know what? We don't get a touchdown on the first drive. It's fine. We set up for three with automatic Austin. We'll just score a touchdown the next time we get into the red zone. You know, Caleb Williams is having no time today. But to be fair, his receivers are doing him no favors. They're not catching the ball. And you know, for a guy with a hurt rib, Jaden is running around pretty good. He's putting his body out there on the line. That's what you love to see from your quarterback. When Jaden goes deep, and it's Sharon McLaurin! One day, Terry is going to break one of those catches for a touchdown. But we got into the red zone, and it's all good. It's all good, baby. And here we go again with the penalties in the red zone. You got to be kidding me. Automatic Austin with another field goal. It's all good. They're going to go for it on fourth down on their own 41. And St. Juice stops DJ Moore on the catch. Okay, St. Juice, I see you. You're actually stacking some good games. And Ertz almost had that touchdown. Another automatic Austin field goal. We got to get a touchdown at some point, right? Because, like, we scored three times, but all it takes is one score, and the Bears are back in the game. And I'll give it to Caleb Williams. His line has given him no time whatsoever, but he is doing everything he can to make a play possible. And a lot of times, is making some plays, but other times, it's getting sacked by our defense, baby. Now we're in the second half. Let's get a touchdown here. Come on. You know, for like a non-divisional game, this game is actually pretty chippy between the two teams. The fact that Jaden is playing this good with that hurt rib, because you can see him grabbing at it after some of these runs and stuff, you can tell that he's hurting, but he is putting it all out there for the team, and it's amazing to watch. And Montez Sweat brings Jaden down. That looked like a hip drop to me. And Austin Sieber with another field goal, 12-0. We have scored four times and none of them touchdowns. See, against the Giants, this worked. I don't believe this will work against Chicago. And DeAndre Swift runs for a touchdown. Yeah, see, I have bad memories of him being on the Eagles. Yeah. Uh, whew. Mm, that didn't look good. They got away with some penalties. They had a little block in the back. We had toyed with the Chicago Bears enough today. You know, this was bound to happen at some point. The Bears are not a bad team. They're actually a pretty good team. And for us to only have 12 points on them while scoring four times, that's not enough to keep us ahead. Being the weathered Washington fan that I am, this is where momentum starts to shift. Jane on the crosser to Terry. And Terry's dragging the boys down, man. And Terry Stevenson going at it? Okay. You don't see Terry fired up like this too often, but when you do, it's a lot of fun to see. And also, Siebert missed the field goal. I can't tell if it was blocked or not or if his foot hit the ground. I don't know what happened. And defense stops Chicago again. We need to get something going on offense. Jaden's throws aren't looking as sharp here in the fourth quarter as they did earlier. You can tell the rib injury is starting to get to him. And our defense hasn't played bad today, but it just seems like now they're getting kind of weathered down and banged up a little bit. And the Caleb Williams and the Bears are marching right down into the red zone. Fumble! We got it! Drazon Noon is having a heck of a game. Fumble recovery and a sack? This man's on fire. This was a, they said he might be a steal of a pick in a draft, and I believe him. Whew, I thought the Bears were going to pull ahead there. All right, offense, let's create a good drive here. Come on. But also, like, with the game on the line, why are you giving the ball to an offensive lineman? And Jane was up just short of the first down marker. We have to punt it. Caleb Williams is making magic happen out there, man. We are doing everything, and he is somehow still making plays. Don't get it twisted. Caleb Williams is going to be a dog in this league. He is very good. I'm, happy. I'm actually happy for Chicago. I'm actually rooting for him. Watch Hard Knocks with him. I thought he's going to be really good, and so I'm super excited for Chicago faithful, except for today. Screw y'all. Fourth and three. He throws incompletion and, and St. Juice. No! St. Juice, what are you doing? You've had such a good game. Bro... Why? And Johnson runs it in for a touchdown. Gosh darn it. We had the game for four freaking quarters, man. And now they pull ahead at the last second. It might have worked against the Giants, but we can't do this against the Bears. Gosh darn it. And they get the two point. Great. 
All right, we get a pass as that hurts. It's fine, we just, you know, have five seconds left and 65 yards to go. A little out to Terry McLaurin. Also, Tony Romo, you're speaking a lot of things into existence. Can you speak a Hail Mary completion? Jaden drops back. Last play of the game. Runs to the right. Runs to the left. He steps up. He launches it. All right. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Oh my gosh! We have never had that in the history of being a Washington fan. In all these years, in all these years, never have I ever had a play like that. Man, this is amazing, man. And Stevenson, we see you taunting over in the end zone over there, and you're the one that tipped it in Noah Brown's hands. Thank you for being a commander today. Thank you. Thank you, team player. But you know what? We didn't play a great game today, but Jaden with the hurt rib absolutely launching it into the end zone for Hail Mary. And see Northwest Stadium blow up like that? Oh my gosh, it's insane. We're for real, man. We're for real. The defense played really good against a very high-powered offense today. And our offense destroyed that defense. Even though we didn't score touchdowns, through the air and through the yards, we destroyed them, which no other team had really done this year yet, even when they lost. A new day in Washington, baby. And that's why we got this new flag up here in the studio. Jane and Terry McLaurin, baby. Let's go. And yes, obviously, guys, these reactions, and we're going to break character here. Yes, guys, these reactions are recorded the day after the game, so you are getting me you're basically seeing me replay the emotions. Now, I cannot replay the exact emotions that I was after the Hail Mary. I leaped out of my seat, ran down the hallways, up and down the stairs, yelling, lost my voice for the rest of the night. You can probably still hear I'm a little hoarse now. I wish, I, I wish there was a camera recording me in that moment. It was beautiful. It was amazing. But let me just break character here and say, Washington fans, it is a new day. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are excited. Left hands up. Who are we? The Commanders! Let's go, baby! Raise hell! Woo! And Noah Brown, how about that for a former cowboy? Ha ha! Y'all suck, Dallas. I know I'll see you in passing.